No idea what I'm getting into right now. I was promised alcohol and food, so I agreed to do it. Unfortunately, what might happen, and I might have to throw in the towel right off the bat, is, is I'm probably going to be expected to cook. I'm going to get the I told you this was fun crap every night, so this is not looking good for me. I don't want to eat. I don't want to cook. <laughs> if she wants to cook, that's cool. <laughs> But if I have to cook, if I for some... So maybe you should just help me cook in the competition. Maybe that will be good. That's not funny. Because <laughs> then you're going to be telling me to do things that are just stupid. Well, you just said that on camera. I don't know of any strengths. <laughs> Thinking that I'm probably the underdog. Um, I could be good at not giving a... Can I swear? <laughs> How many times have I made something that people didn't like? Well, who's going to tell you to your face? I will. <laughs> I think overall I'm the better cook. Sure. We'll see how the competition goes. <laughs> Work in. One of the chefs came to me and said, you know, I guess Vito's is holding a, some kind of competition. So I said, really? Everybody loves my cooking at home. I guess they wait for, like, wait for me to start cooking if I don't cook. And then everybody's kind of like on edge or upset a little bit that they have to do it. But two new additions to my family. I just had twins, so I'm going to enjoy cooking for them a lot. Uh, I want to get through it and say that I did it and do it to the best of my ability. And it just come confirms to me that either I'm going on the right path or I need to reevaluate myself. And I think I'm watching out Chop too. <laughs> and I have always had that passion to cook. So every holiday has been at my house. I entertain weekly. Uh, when my kids were going up, we always had the cheerleading team, the soccer team at our house after practice. I was the mom that was cooking all the time. And my career took me in a business route. So I owned a software training company for 20 years. And the past year, I found myself as a young empty nester. And I decided, you know what, it's time to do something that I want to do. I'm hoping to have my own cooking show someday soon. I published a cookbook, which I'm very excited about, Cindy's Kitchen Cookbook. It's an Italian cookbook, which is my background. I'm Italian. And I was ready to take that next step. So I've just thrown both feet in the fire, and I've been really working on my cooking career. I would say, watch out, Cindy's on fire. There's no egos in the competition at all. I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. I know personally, I don't have any. I know that, so. Um. <laughs> oh no. Ego is everything when you're a chef, actually. And, and uh, if you think you can do it, you know, pretty much you, you can. And um, there's gonna be a lot of, uh, uh, of overpowering egos, I'm sure. And, 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 and that's what people use in, in, in intimidation. Well, I prepared today a classic Italian dish, cioppino, and I added the ingredient mussels. I have salmon, shrimp, I had some chicken in there, there's garlic, and I also added beer in the broth as well as deglazing the pan with the um, apples and bacon on top. All the flavors are incorporated nicely. Great, it was so much fun in the kitchen today. Great use of secondary ingredients. I mean, it's, you didn't take too much away from the mussels. There's a lot on the plate, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a full dish, but, uh, not finding any apple though, I will be honest with you. I'm not, okay. I'm not tasting much of the apples by any You know, I really wasn't paying attention to them. Like they were kind of in my way on the stove because I like to hog the stove, but I wasn't sure what the burner is, but I was just moving pans around and just throwing the food in the pan and just cooking the best I could. I think it's excellent and I like the fact that you did not put the hot peppers in I just there. put everything that I could find, you know, into my cioppino. And I hope it works. Excellent job, Dr. Thank nice you. Nice touch. Oh, I definitely can cook. What I prepared was, um, some scallops with the mussels. I cooked the mussels in a, um, a reduction of bacon, apples, beer, and a little um, brown sugar. Um, and then <clears throat> I basically uh, put a little bit of hot pepper and some brown sugar on the, um, the scallops. I washed my hands. <laughs> uh, so 
surprisingly, I think it went okay. Deep fried uh, apples, uh, that didn't come out as good as I thought it was gonna come out, so I just totally left them out, so I- I'm actually very surprised then. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that, that I was able to do that in a setting that we have right now without under the time limits and, and not knowing what the ingredients are. You know, I think the flavor's actually mixed well. I was surprised on their feedback. I, I didn't even taste my dish, really. I had no idea what it tasted like. The apples are, are you know, really caramel, actually. Red peppers. Yeah. Great, man. It's really good. It's got, it's got a great flavor profile. Your bacon's incredibly undercooked. Is the, it? the only downfall is yeah. got some, some chewy bacon. I think the only thing that was difficult was just uh, trying not to get injured with with all the moving and all the hot pans back there. So I was just trying to move slow for that reason and maybe it just kind of kept me calm. Prepared a classic Italian muscle dish, um, incorporated the beer, I steeped it in it. Um, I made a crostinis. Um, I knew there's gonna be the apples and bacon were gonna be lost inside of the, the beer because it's, it's so pungent. So I made a crostinis out of it. Really I, the ingredients actually it was the competition of everything, like the feel of just being in the kitchen. You did an excellent job with uh, cooking the mussels in, in, the, in the broth that you made, and uh, the flavor is excellent right in the shell. I think it went well. Just looking at it, love the color. It's the best, it's the best beer hands down. It's the most yeah. beer infused dish so far. Mm -hmm. yeah. The gorgonzola and the smoky flavor of the bacon. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And I agree with what Rob said about the mussels. Is really very good. I just think everybody should continue doing what they're doing, competition-wise, probably getting there, cook for their families, open up their own spots. Overall, that was a spectacular round. Please hire me if you... <laughs> <laughs>